hi guys welcome to my youtube channel today i'm going to be talking about reading your child's report understanding your child's report and knowing exactly what action what steps to take once you've read and understood their report so i'm going to be delving into what comes up on reports regularly now each report differs from school to school but generally they carry the same sort of meaning you know so i have a report in front of me now i'm really going to be delving more on the primary school report uh but in some places i'll touch base on the secondary school as well um i, I don't just want to tag it primary school report reading but i have an example in front of me so there's a people progress uh for the whole academic year as you know majority of our kids now will be getting their reports because it's coming to the end of the academic year so a lot of them are going to be coming home with a report card uh, with a report paper some schools still print it out and some schools they will send it to you by email i think it's really important as a parent to take your time to sit down and have a look and understand what your child's report is saying what are the things that come up on the report so one of the things that would come up is they would grade your child uh, based on three main criteria. so the first one again i think i'm still focusing on primary school because secondary school is slightly different so we could tag this video as understanding report writing for primary school and i can do another one for secondary school kids so the first thing is the three main um grading system so there's less than expected some schools use the term less than average right and then after less than expected there's expected again some schools use average instead of expected and then after expected is exceeding expectation and some schools instead of saying exceeding expectations they use working in greater depth all right so those are the three main stages so is your child working below expected or are they unexpected or are they working above expected i.e working in greater depth you as a parent want to make sure your child is working unexpected or working above expected when they're working less than expected it means that compared to majority of the kids they're working below expectation and to be honest even for your own child's confidence you don't want them to be working below expected especially if you can help it now how can you help it is by supporting them and understanding what it is that they struggle with and getting help for them that help can be yourself helping them or it can be you getting some form of tuition there's nothing new about getting additional support getting tuition for your child and that's where we come in at Technis Academy. We'll be able to support your child with their maths, English, and sciences in, in any of the core subjects that they struggle with so that they can be working on expected or above expected. Also, to touch base on expected or above expected, if your child's going to be writing the 11 plus exam, because the 11 plus exam is super challenging, highly competitive as well, you want to place your child in a position where they're already working on expected before they start preparing for the 11 plus exam because the context of the 11 plus exam the content is a lot more is a lot more challenging than what they're being taught in school so imagine if a child is working below expected and you then bring them to us to start preparing them for the 11 plus exam yes we'll try our best we'll try our best and still work with them to try and get them to expect it but imagine that gap they're already struggling with the normal average work then now we put more challenging work in front of them and the key thing here is to start as early as possible and so when i say start early you might be wondering how early what age is early for us at technics academy we have classes for children from age two and the reaction is always when i say age two they're like uh -uh, they're still babies what do you want them to be learning at age two trust me we have age appropriate resources and classes that your child can attend for that age we teach them through rhymes through song and we help them to be able to recall all the necessary things that they will need and don't forget the early years of your child i.e age zero to five they're the most crucial point for your child in terms of learning because at that point their brains are like sponge they absorb a lot of things so now the question is how can you help them to learn the appropriate things at that young age that would they would need for later right so let's go back to the reports right uh the reports reading so we've talked about those three categories working below expected working unexpected or exceeding expectation so 
generally in primary school they would grade them on three things they grade them on their maths their reading and their writing so you want to check is your child working on expected on all those areas or it could be that in maths they're working on expected but in english they're working on, on their reading they're working below expected and their writing they're working below expected so straight away you know where your child is struggling and what they need help with the other thing that they would check is behavior attendance and punctuality again it differs from school to school but generally is very very similar so they'll check their behavior in classroom like you know are they settled in the classroom do they follow instruction do they focus do they engage in lessons uh, there's something in teaching pedagogy that we call behavior for learning you know does your child um have that behavior for learning in place has their attendance anything lower than 96 or 98 percent in attendance is classed as bad right again it varies from school to school so you might think oh my child is on 92 percent attendance which is quite still very high but that is low for some schools all right so some schools generally the mark for attendance should be 96 percent or above and some kids who attend school regularly and are able to attain 100 percent attendance they get prizes they get incentives for being at school the general um knowledge about attendance is the more your child attends classes the more your child comes to school the likely they will progress but if your child is always absent not in school it's very unlikely that they will make progress as much as the kid who is always present so that's the general opinion they'll check for their punctuality as well so punctuality are they always late or are they on time so think about all those areas in terms of when you take your child to school making sure they get ready make sure they're punctual to school they would also check things like effort and attitude do they put a lot of effort into their work generally checking this in the classroom and definitely they will check on homework does your child complete homework any task that they set on homework doesn't always have to be maths and english homework sometimes they give them projects to complete uh the other day they told my child to uh plant some sunflower seeds and check for the growth that's also classed as part of homework and sometimes they need you to take pictures of what they've done so when they send correspondence home about a task for your child to complete, make sure they're on top of things like that. So those are the general things that you would see on your child's report. And then you will see your child's teacher's feedback, a written feedback of how they're getting on in all of those areas, how they're getting on in their maths, their English, how they're getting on socially with other children. Do they interact with other children? What are they like uh, when they interact with teachers and other children and then they will set them targets for the new year and sometimes the head teacher would make a note as well uh, to buttress how they're getting on so generally that is what the report would look like for children in primary school um, and i have one here for preschool if your child's in nursery or preschool it's likely that they would check on certain things like the literacy the uh, numeracy and then understanding the world they would also check on expressive arts and design and they would check on their motor skills how do they handle things that they'll check on their speaking as well their speech by this time in nursery if the if the teachers or the key workers feel like they are struggling with their speech or they're having some form of speech delay they might be able to recommend you for speech therapy but obviously there would be a diagnosis before then so they'll check your child on uh, making sure they're developing as they should they work they'll check on their playing and exploring what what are they like when they take them outside into the garden what are they like when do they stand in one corner by themselves or do they try and explore generally at nursery the uh, play because they call it play learning through play is generally child led they want the child to be able to lead the activity by themselves uh, they'll check on their active learning they'll check on their critical thinking um and they they would check on all these key areas and set targets as well for them they would also check on their 
it all depends on nursery to nursery but when it comes to their literacy they want to start checking on the sounds again it depends on your child's age so when i say sounds i'm, I'm talking about phonics uh, they'll check on their communication and language is your child generally the one if they want to eat they'll do like this and say they want to eat or they would actually say i'm hungry or if they'll say their tummy hurts when they're hungry because they can't differentiate from if they're hungry or they're in pain um they check for their physical development as well and they would also check on their emotional development and social development um so generally I think I've summarized how the report works for primary school education. Now, if you've noticed that your child is struggling in a particular area, then you have to look at how you can help them. What is it they struggle with? You can see from their reports that maths is their problem. Then get them a tutor in maths. Come to us, bring your child to us, and we will support them with their maths. What we tend to do at Technics is we place the students in a position where they're one step ahead of school so that by the time they learn a topic in school, they've already done it with us and it's not new. And if they've already done it, it means they're practicing, they're revising, they're doing it more often. And if a child repeats stuff, especially when it comes to their maths and English, they do it over and over again. They become experts at it. They become better at it. They become more confident at it. Um, so if you need any help with your child reading your child's report because you don't really understand Definitely reach out to us and I'll, I'll try my best as much as possible to try and help you navigate and understand But the general thing here is identifying what your child's Weakest link is what their weakest list and sometimes the weakest link is not just academic The weakest link is because they're not interacting with other children and for some of it might for, for some of them It might be they generally have outburst for some of them It might be their behavior for some of them. It might be their lack of focus And so you want to start to identify all these things and once you identify them Dig to the bottom and see what where is this problem coming from for some it might be because they have underlying special needs that hasn't been identified that hasn't been diagnosed and if it's not diagnosed they won't know they won't be able to give them the appropriate support that they need and i'm speaking now to african parents if your child has specific special needs that they would need extra support with stop fighting it off with just saying you you reject it in the name of jesus take the support take the support that the school is giving get the diagnosis know exactly what your child needs help with right and get that support to help them and then you can set targets reasonable targets for your child understanding that your child might develop slower than the neurotypical child but that they will still get to where they need to get to eventually i think i've covered everything that i need to cover on reading your child's report and i hope that you found this useful all right um recording this video from bellflower california i had to rub that in because the weather is beautiful out here my skin is popping i'm loving it out here um so i just want to say thank you so much for joining me and listening to me and watching this video to encourage me subscribe to my channel like this video put a comment in the comment section any addition you have any subtraction any questions that you might have anything at all drop it into the comment section i hope you have a lovely lovely day i think it's like 11 p.m in the uk right now well darlings it's what time here it's 3 p.m here and i am loving life <laughs> sorry guys okay i have to go now thank you so much Bye.